there. Welcome to my Marantis home office. I'm Brad Fuster, a member of the team responsible for the Marantis Secure Registry product. The MSR team is a highly distributed, highly cohesive team, with team members located in Silicon Valley, the U.S. East Coast, the U.S. West Coast, and here in Ontario, Canada, we develop Marantis's killer secure image registry technology using Agile Scrum. While each person's role can vary from sprint to sprint, each and every member of the team plays a crucial role in delivering the product. As the manager of the team, like every team member, I have a distinct and important role to play to make the product successful. It's my job to ensure that the team has all of the tools that they need to get their work done. Sometimes that means removing roadblocks, sometimes it means mitigating distractions. You know, rather than take my word for it, why don't you join us for the daily MSR stand-up to get a glimpse into the operation of the team? Chris, you're up. All right, so I had a couple comments to incorporate into the Helm chart value stuff. Um, I've got what I believe is the final uh, version of that push. I'm just waiting for Jenkins to turn it around. So I also went ahead and grabbed the next ticket uh, in the to-do column. See what I can come up with on that one. Corey. I'm making good progress with the 2665. I've got, um, so all the UI changes. Also, I got the UI extract messages to work. That's it for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, as expected, uh, for, was it uh, 2370? Yeah, there was some uh, comments. So I've incorporated the review comments. So that's my update right now. Slava. Uh, yesterday, I had some uh, issues with uh, Minikube. I realized that uh, everything stopped working. So I reverted my changes. And only after that, uh, everything uh, started working again. That's it. Wow. Uh, this morning, I uh, started looking into 2804. I haven't got any reviews from uh, uh, MKE team yet on the PR. So I uh, ping them on the UCP dev channel. Yeah, in the meantime, I'll be working on 2804. Uh, for me, yeah. Um, I got all the JavaScript stuff done, I believe. It was <laughs> much easier than I was making it out to be like to change my approach. Uh, now I'm just sort of uh, fussing around in the uh, various server code, uh, trying to get the compiled JavaScript stuff to get served appropriately and then see if it works the way I want it to. Yeah, that's it for me. Uh, Brad, anything for us? As you can see, we have quite the amazing team here on MSR. Why don't we take a look at the product itself and see what each developer works on. Let us log into the MSR instance here as an admin user so we can explore. There we go, and here's our main UI. You can see here we have a list of repositories that we can go into that host images. Each one has a readme, as you might expect of a, of a repository. You can view all the tags of the images that are in there. You can see any Helm charts that are hosted in that repository and potential webhooks. Let's see what webhooks we can do. So we have all these different events that we could potentially add a webhook to in order to put custom handling in. And of course, TLS uh, security on top of that. So over here, um, we have promotion policies and these promotion policies can automatically promote images within the repository based on any of these criteria. We'll talk about these criteria a little bit later. Pruning, if we want to make sure that we remove tags after some amount of time, and we have enforcement policies. Now, enforcement policies allow you to prevent images from being pulled under various circumstances. So we could potentially say if there's a tag name that is prod, maybe we're tagging everything for production with prod, we will then apply these other criteria to it. So we can look at potentially critical CVEs. We want to say we have zero critical CVEs in any image that is prod labeled. And likewise, uh, high CVEs are pretty bad too. So we'll say zero on there. Medium, you know, we can have a little bit of tolerance for medium CVEs. So we'll say we can have up to five of them. And then the low severity CVEs that are detected by our image scanner, we'll allow up to 10 of those. Now, by using this policy, we can hit save here and it'll prevent pulling any images from the registry that in this particular repository that meet those criteria. We can do some mirroring here. Um, now, the mirroring allows us to push or pull from another MSR instance or from Docker. 
um, put in any usernames, your repository information, and it allows us to keep our registry and other registry in sync. Generic settings here that you can configure. So um, image scanning, you can see I can do it on push every time an image is pushed will do the scan versus manual where an image scan must manually be triggered. And that's what gives us our CVE scores that we had before. And here's an activity log so we can see what's been happening within our repository. We have general system settings here, licensing, all that kind of stuff. We can configure our storage here. So we could use cloud storage if we wish, um, easily configure any of these cloud storage providers for us to use. We have security settings here. Um, and as part of our image scanning, we need to make sure that we have valid signatures so we can sync now or do online updates. Here we have enforcement policies on the global level, which are very similar to the repository level. Okay, so if we go to our organizations, these are organizational units that we can use to see, you know, segregate our repositories um, based on purpose. And here we are back into the organization and repository settings, and we can then set permissions for users within our organization and what they can do to our registry. We have a very robust API here that we can do basic tasks, admin tasks, account management tasks, um, any of the meta kind of things, content cache information, um, repository namespaces, events, image control, image scanning, web hooks, jobs, crons, workers. Um, we can do our API tokens, indexing, any of this kind of stuff. And these APIs are all documented here for customization and expansion. So let's send some feedback too, so that we can give directly to Mirantis. Um, so we'll say that the, the registry has really helped us out here. Um, it's, it's really a, a stellar registry for us to maintain the images within our organization. And this will get filed over to us at Mirantis, where we can then action appropriately, um, both accept the good feedback and use the less positive feedback to make product improvements. So that's a pretty cool product. You guys work really hard on this, and we've got a really good. Oh. I'm coming from school. Can I have a hug? Oh, come on. Oh. Welcome home. I'll be up in a bit, okay? And as a work from home company, we're very family friendly too. <laughs>